Dearly beloved of the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank God and happy new year. We wake up to a new year. We appreciate God for his good things that he does for us. He is all able and we are here to rejoice, rejoice to say God is good, that he makes time rise, he makes time go down, he makes the sun get out and he makes the sun go down. And therefore we are here to celebrate and to say blessed 20. 24 and we thank the lord who has given us this opportunity and so we thank you O oh god that you have given us another opportunity another moment in a new year to celebrate again to work for you again and to do things again we pray the lord you give us the grace that as we begin our journey in this year God, you'll go along with us. Like you went with the children of Israel. Will you go with us? In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all of us say, Amen. And so we appreciate God, brethren, for a new year. God has been good. The reason why we have to smile about it, the reason why we have to celebrate about it, the reason why we have to, to jubilate about it, because God has given us another chance. I know. There could have been challenges. I know there could, be, there could have been problems. I know there could have been so many things. But the mere fact that God has brought us to the beginning of the new year, we celebrate his goodness. And so we come again, continuing to think about God's goodness in the new year. To think about the Lord's goodness in the land of the living, that you, who is still alive, that God has kept you, that God has provided for you. You know, 23, 2023 went, has gone. But remember at one moment, we celebrated its coming. We celebrated the first January. We celebrated the first month, January, and we went on. And so it has gone. We thank God. When it came, we celebrated and said, thank you, God. And so in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, the Bible says that there is time for everything, time to begin and time to end. And so when you read Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, there was a moment when 2023 came, and now time came when 2023 went. And now there's time for everything, time for 2024 or 2024 has come, and time will come when 2024 will go. And so we put it at heart that God gives us every opportunity, each minute that passes, each hour that passes, each day that goes, each week, each month, and each year. And so we keep celebrating the Lord's goodness. It is that he is good. He is our father. He's our Lord. He's our provider. He's our keeper. He fights our battles. And so we, we don't lose heart. So in the new year, friends, it's a new beginnings. In the new year, friends, it's a new start of things. In the new year, it is a new era starting all over. And so every year that begins, we sit down. We have pens, we have notebooks, and we make resolutions. We write down. And you say, oh God, here I come in the new year that I want I have looked at the past year. I was able to succeed here. I was able to succeed here. I was able to succeed here. And because God has given you another opportunity, you sit down again and then 2024, you say, God, thank you that you did that for me. But this, I didn't manage. I didn't ma finish. I didn't do this. I do Now, this year, 2024, here I come with another agenda. Here I come with another program. Here I come with another something, at least new. And so God knows the desires of our heart. The reason why when we read Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, the Bible keeps telling me and tells you as well that do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplications, together with thanksgiving, let our desires be made known unto God. And so as we begin the year 2024, we have had anxieties, we have had stresses. We have had so many things. But we come to say, oh God, thank you. That we, that's why the, the phrase of thanksgiving is there. And so we thank God that has enabled us to pass 2023. And now we call it history. Now 2024 is here. Now we start all over again. So we make resolutions. We make our programs. We set goals. 
Yes. And I know you must be sitting down to write down something. And as the year 2023 was closing, you must have sat down to write something. And so plan out something new. Plan out everything in a fresh way. We call it fresh way, a new way, you know, a refreshed banner. And so may God, who brought you to the beginning of this year, 2024, be the same God actually leading you through, enabling you through, as you journey. You know, the children of Israel started from Egypt. They need to know how long it will take them on their way. But they moved. And God being their helper, their provider, their protector, their fighter. And God fights our battles. And so I just remembered one of the portions of scripture in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. You know, we make plans, we make resolutions. But the issue that we do is in these verses in Proverbs 69 and the Bible says that the heart of man plans his way or her way but the Lord is the one who establishes his steps now I come to ask you I come to put to you Proverbs 16 9 that we make plans we make resolutions we make we set goals Yes, it's our heart's desire, but it's God who will establish us in the new year 2024. As it comes, as it journeys in, as it dawns. And so we celebrate that. But as we celebrate, we have set our goals. We have written down some people are to build houses. Some people have set down, I mean, strategies to buy cars. Some people have put strategies to finish their courses, strategies to marry. Yes, there are those who say, yes, this year I must wed, I must marry. God bless you. Now, that is your heart's desire. And so we plan. We shouldn't fail to plan. Strategize, set a goal. But in Proverbs 16, 9, the Bible says you plan, but God is the one who establishes your steps. So may God who has established you, who has started you this year, 2024, establish you. So friends, we are now in the new year. I have mentioned that already. And at the beginning, there are anticipations. Yes, there is something at least to happen. I tried last year, 2023. Yes, I tried. And when I look back, I thank God for what I was able to do. And that which I failed to do, I ask God to give me, that he has given me another chance to enter this one. I say, pray the Lord. And so new beginnings, fresh beginnings, letting go. You know, there are some people who carry on the challenges of 2023. Yes, it's okay. It's history. Because actually, you keep thinking. Things keep lingering in your mind. But I come to say, let go the past. If things didn't go well, Trust God. Pray to him. Do you remember Philippians 4, 6? Yes, I said, let your desires be made known unto God. Another opportunity. Another chance. That actually God will, may do something new. This is the future. And you know what? I've always mentioned that actually, this is the year, 2024, that you prayed for last year. And I'll never forget to mention that. Each day that comes, you pray for tomorrow, Okay. Now, tomorrow comes like we prayed yesterday. Yes, this has come. So the, the tomorrow that you prayed for yesterday is this one. The next year that you prayed for last year is this one. So position yourself for God to take charge. Yes, there are worries also. The year that you worried for last year is this one. Now, what do you do? Will you continue with the worries? I come to bring hope that God will move along with you. Just position yourself. And of course, new beginnings. And so as we get down, let's open Lamentations chapter 3. A very, very common portion of scripture. Lamentations 3, 22. In this book, the writer who is... Jeremiah, Lamentations chapter 3, mentions something which is great and you know it 
and as I get there to read, you know it very, very well. Lamentation 3, 22 to 24. And the Bible says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Friends, you can continue reading that portion of scripture, but I wouldn't miss. Of course, there are many portions of scripture that talk about new things, but I wouldn't miss Lamentation 3.22. That actually God is his steadfast love. Never, never, never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. God's mercies are new every week. God's mercies are new every month. God's mercies are new every year. And so my brother, my sister, whoever you are, wherever you are, Trust that actually these new masses, these masses that never end, will move along with you. And that in the Lord, I will hope. Now, a hopeless life is difficult life. Now, everything that we do, we do with hope. You buy a piece of land with a hope that tomorrow will find you. You buy a car with a hope that tomorrow that you'll drive it. You marry with a hope that you will enjoy your marriage. You produce children with the hope that you'll bring them up and that will become great men and women that will do great things for the Lord in this land of the living. Anything that you do, you pay school fees for the child you spend with the hope that your child will finish and that the child will do great things, will be a very useful person in the future. So everything that we do, whatever little, whatever big, you do it with the hope. So 2024, my brothers and sisters, May the God who has started this year for us grant us an opportunity to see his masses in a fresh way. His masses that are new every morning and that great is his faithfulness. So carry hope with you. This is the message. Carry hope with you into 2024. And so I don't want to forget that actually this is an opportunity for you to reboot. Something can maybe had gone down, your batteries had gone down, your every energies had gone down. Now reboot, start again. I encourage you to start again. And I encourage myself to start all over again. This is a new another opportunity that the Lord has given me. His mercies are new every morning. And so the Lord is mercies in 2024 that will propel us that will move us to new positions, to new everything. And we ask God who takes us to another level to be with us, to hold us, to hold us there, to hold us there. God who takes us to another level to hold us there. I pray that God who takes you to another level in 2024 to hold you there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, very common verse, but it brings new meaning into the new year 2024, where the Bible, Paul says that anyone who is in Christ is a new creature. The old is gone, the new has come. Now remember, 2023 at one moment, well had its own many things, and some people, we might have hated it, we might have looked at it and said, when is it ending? So we begin another year. Yes, this is the whole thing. That actually being in Christ, a new creature, a new beginning, the old gone, the new comes. Of course, this Second Corinthians 5.17, you can interpret it the way you want. But what I'm looking for in it is something new. Because 2024 is now new. It's something new. So you can interpret it. Is it, is it salvation? Someone getting saved? Is it whatever? Is it whatever? Yes. But what I'm looking for is new creature, new year, new month, new week, new great things. And so I leave it with you that actually I wouldn't miss mentioning 2 Corinthians 5, 17. This is another chance for you. New season to bring fresh start. 
newness, new creature. Every new season has a purpose and God has done this for you and has done it for me and comes with an opportunity to see the creator in a fresh way. Now, if you have had a challenge seeing the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior, as your Lord, this could be an opportunity for you to see him again. The reason why 2 Corinthians is mentioning he who is in Christ is a new creature. The old is gone, the new has come. You can many ways. You can ask God who is up there and say, Father, forgive me. You start a new journey, you are fresh. You might have had gaps here and there. This is another opportunity for you to start again. Know that our God, who is the God of new beginnings, remains the provider. And I believe this vehemently, that actually God, who is the God of new beginnings, is our provider. He doesn't touch something and leaves it along the way. Yes, do you remember Philippians chapter 1 verse 6? Paul says that I'm confident. Yes, I am confident that he who has started this good work in you will bring it to accomplishment. God never leaves things hanging. I believe that God who never leaves things hanging. When he starts it, he finishes it. And I always say that when he finishes it, he finishes it so well. And when he finishes it so well, he is well pleased with what he does. Creation story tests, attests to this. That when he began his work, he completed, and at the very end, he was very pleased with what he saw, with what he had done. And so I pray, friends, that actually God, who has brought you to the beginning of the year 2024, will progress you, and will progress with you. When he starts, he finishes. I believe in God the Father Almighty, who begins and finishes. And now that he has started, he will finish it for us. Pray the Lord that God is still the same God. But you also remember Isaiah 43, verse 18. Yes, it also talks about something new. You remember Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. In the new year, I also bring you this verse and it says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of the things of old behold verse 19 behold i'm doing a new thing now it springs forth do you not perceive it i will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert pray the lord now 2024 might look yes coming 12 months ahead of us how many weeks 52 weeks ahead of us how many days? Yes, we shall count 365, 366. Whatever they are. Is it a leap year? Is it what? Yes. But remember that behold, the Lord makes a new thing in the wilderness, in the desert. And he says the rivers will flow. And so my, my brother, my sister, if there is any verse again, this is another one for the new year. Because we are a people of hope. And our hope is God is doing a new thing. Our hope is it springs forth and we need to perceive it. Our hope is the Lord makes a way in the wilderness. You may look at where you are going, at where you are as a wilderness, because the wilderness is a desert, no water, no food, no nothing. But God provided for the Israelites in the wilderness for over the 40 years that they were in the wilderness. So I pray that God who brings you into this year 2024, make something new. So look forward, look ahead. God works to give you a new beginning. Remember that God creates. May he give you a desire and a strength to pursue his goodness, his beginnings, and his love, his care. Pursue, please. Feel not down and out. 2023 might have been the way it was. Feel not down and out. And I'm purposing to say that I feel not down and out, but the restoration has come. And so that actually, he who makes rivers flow in the wilderness will flow with just trust in him. Yes, just remain clinging onto him. Do you remember Proverbs 16:9? That's you that we can plan. We can set goals, but it is God who directs our steps. So may he direct your steps in 2024. 
and I'm believing this vehemently in my life that actually this happens. So I just just want to give two examples of people that must found life very, very uninteresting at the beginning. And then I will end there. Yes, 2023 might have been whatever it was to you. But remember that actually this year, 23, 2024, I mean, sunrise, sunrise, sunrise will visit us. And I'm believing so that this year, oh God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, does something that sunrise will come our way. Like he visited many, many people, generations past, he will visit us today. Now, the two people that I wanted to mention are, one, Joseph, in the Bible. If 2023 was anything to go by, and it had its ups and downs, remember Joseph? The young among the 12 brothers hated, sold into slavery. Now, that story is a long one, but what I want to bring out is the God of the new beginnings used the situations through which Joseph went through for the good. Through the pit, well, okay, through the mistreatment, through the pit where he was thrown, the Ishmaelites come, he sold through slavery there, through, 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 and he becomes eventually, he goes Potiphar's house, houseboy, he goes prison, and through there, you know, he rises, and God being with him, great things happened. So God is a God of new beginnings. And so, we might have passed through fire, you might have gone through storms, but I always pray that the storms don't consume me, the fire doesn't consume me, that actually, if you're not consumed, like the Bible is saying, you know, you emerge victorious, like we have emerged in 2024, and we're believing that you shall move, because this is the land of the living. That may God shut the mouth of the lions in 2024, Yes, he did it for Daniel. Yes, may God make the fire stale like he did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That even when they were thrown there, they were not burnt. But God provided a way out. And so I pray that actually as we begin 2024, may God provide a way out. And so Joseph gives us hope, new beginnings for our life. That actually even when 2023 could have been whatever it was, trust that God will lift you to another level. If we had all the time in the world to mention, we'd mention so many things. But a few things like those give us courage that actually start 2024. We begin on a fresh page, on a new, new page, a new footing, and we start all over again. God has given us another chance, friends. And of course, people mentioned second chance, but I've graduated from saying second chance. I now mention another chance because one after another, second ends, but another will keep coming. 2023, yes, there was an opportunity, another chance. 2024 is here. And now, every day is another chance. Now, may God who started it, end it with you. Now, another person that I wanted to make to mention is Job. Of course, Job, God knew what God was going through. And we all know what he went through. Maybe 2023 could have been a year of whatever it is. But God restored him, gave him a new beginning. Towards the book, the end of the book, Job became more prosperous, great man. And so, why am I mentioning this? I'm mentioning this because there are, you know, there are tragedies that could have befallen us in 2023, that whatever it was. Of course, despite the great things, the good things, the good news, the celebrations that we could have, but we are saying, God of the new beginnings, may he set a new beginning. And now you can mention others, like Paul, like whoever they are. God gives new beginnings. God gives transformation. And so, friends, in 2024, First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 11 to 12, mentioned this, that actually seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. In 2024, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence. Remember the wondrous works that he has done. His miracles and the judgments. I am trusting God that 2024 
brings us these great things in our life. And so friends, this is what I, how I close this time that actually God is our father. May he continue being your father and our keeper and our protector and our provider in the year 2024. Like Second Chronicles, I mean, First Chronicles is saying, seek the Lord, his strength. I mentioned First Chronicles 16, 11. Seek the Lord, his strength, seek his presence. Remember his wondrous works and we remember his wondrous works. Now, let me finish with Philippians chapter four, verse eight. This is my desire for you. This is my desire for you. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worth of praise, think about these things in the chapter 24. Whatever is commendable, whatever is honorable, whatever is great, whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, may God enable you. And I pray that actually God who has started you this year, 2024, would bring you to the end of it with success. Make your resolution, set your goals, and may God stand with you. I'm praying that he goes along with me. Mother said that actually, God, if you're not going with us, don't leave us. Don't enable us to leave this place. And so we're also asking God, go along with us into 2024. And so that we can see your goodness, can see your man, new mercies every morning. A God of another opportunity, a God of another chance. God, our Father in heaven, we pray that you lead us into this year, 2024, with all your favor resting upon us and we being new creatures to move along with you. In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>